week of Easter 5, Ascension Day, the yes and no of heart and mouth. Let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Psalm 19, verse 14. Dear Redeemed, this beloved psalm proclaims the gospel of the Almighty Lord God's gracious forgiveness applied to the soul of the individual believer in Christ. David concludes it with a petition to the Christ asking that his words and his thoughts would be acceptable in the presence of Jehovah, the Son of God, his rock, and his Redeemer. The Christian, whose Redeemer is Jesus, will seek to speak the truth when called upon to do so. Some pastors pray this psalm verse before preaching a sermon, petitioning the Savior for the wisdom, clarity, and courage to proclaim the truth, rightly divide law and gospel, send the word forth to accomplish God's purpose in the hearts of the hearers. This is part of the vows and promises he has made to the Lord and to Christ's church in the presence of many witnesses to teach the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. May it be so here in this devotion as we listen to Jesus' word about swearing, to understand the meaning of the text, and to seek to make application to our lives. Again, you have heard that it was said to those of old, You shall not swear falsely, but shall perform your oaths to the Lord. But I say to you, do not swear at all, neither by heaven, for it is the throne of God, nor by the earth, for it is his footstool, nor by Jerusalem, for it is the city of the great king. Neither shall you swear by your head, because you are not able to make one hair white or black. But let your word, yes, be yes, and your no be no. For whatever is more than these is from the evil one. Matthew 5, verses 33 through 37. Pondering all of scriptures, we come to realize that there is some swearing that is not prohibited, namely, special situations associated with the secular state and the governing authorities. Jesus himself was placed under oath and answered questions. What Jesus is particularly addressing in this Sermon on the Mount text is the abuse of oaths and frivolous swearing that was promoted by the religious leaders. Swearing by the earth, heaven, your head, and so forth seems strange to us. We are more familiar with such swearing to tell the truth with such phrases as, I swear on a stack of Bibles, cross my heart and hope to die, stick a needle in my eye, I swear on my mother's grave. Our Lord declares that our responses are to be simple, clear, and truthful. Any intended deceit is of the devil. Let's try a few questions in which you make your responses with nothing more than a yes or a no. Are you a sinner? Is all swearing okay? Is Jesus both true God and true man? Did Jesus die his sin-atoning death only for good people? Did Christ Jesus die, rise, and ascend into heaven for you? Are you forgiven? Prayer O ascended Lord Jesus, according to the word of the Holy Spirit in the Scriptures, I hear that I am forgiven, and have been given eternal life and salvation. Therefore, let the words of my mouth and the meditation of my heart be acceptable in your sight, O Lord, my rock and my redeemer. Amen. Hymn number 62, stanzas 1 and 14. O oh, that I had a thousand voices, a mouth to speak with thousand tongues, my heart which in the Lord rejoices, then would proclaim in grateful songs to all wherever I might be what great things God hath done for me. Lord, I will tell while I am living thy goodness forth with every breath and greet each morning with thanksgiving until my heart is still in death. Yea, when at last my lips grow cold, thy praise shall in my sighs be told.